hope you're joining this live. You know, we're going to have a bunch of people on here that are either going to make you laugh, you're going to realize the severity of these issues, but we really need to laugh after everything that we're going through. We're trying to have a good time on here. This is going to be well, in the middle of serious and comical at the same time. So just play close attention and we hope that you do enjoy the live. Uh, for our first person, I am waiting for her to send me the request to join the live. And it's a member of the trio, of the Grown Up Italian trio. So she could introduce what's going to happen during this live, and we'll get the ball rolling. So, Miguel, swing that in. Whenever you're ready, Miguel. And we'll get it going. Much love from Montreal. And then our next person we will do in a second. So I'm just waiting for, there we go, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's up? What's up, nice to see you. I know, I know, I'm running super late, I'm sorry. No, no worries. So uh, let's go, let's introduce what's going on. So I was actually just at work and the reason I'm running so late is because I made sure to come home I washed my hands a bunch of times. I changed my outfit. Everything went straight in the wash. And I, I'm super careful because I was at work and my parents were home. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Absolutely. Uh, Miguel, so how long has it been since you last seen each other? Honestly, I wish I could just give you a hug, but we got to practice this whole social distancing thing. But I think it's been about three weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. We're hanging in, though. I know, but you know what, man? Right now, we have to be as pos as careful as we possibly can, and it's kind of like it's not a time to be courageous. We have to be super careful and safe. Yeah, literally, we spoke about this literally 20 minutes ago. I'm like, yo, we, I was going to do this in the studio with Mugawa. She was supposed to be right next to me. But I said, you know, let me play it safe. I'll just stay inside. You stay home. We'll do it. We'll start it up like this, and then we'll get the ball rolling. And honestly, I'm um, I'm glad we did it this way because we are we have the platform to really push people staying home. So it kind of would have went against everything that we're pushing yeah. for us to meet up. So exactly. I'm glad we did it this way. Perfect. All right, y'all. We'll talk. Stay, watch the live. Of course, I'm gonna be watching. I'll see you soon, man. Be safe. Right. My love to you, you and the family. You too. You too. Stop the boy. Okay. All right. So that's me and Miguel, two members of the trio. Sabino is home right now, but let's get the ball rolling. I'm gonna get this person in the chat. All right. What's up, Sal? Sal, the voice. Miss you too, man. Hello. Hey, there. how are you? How you doing? Very well. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. First off, I want to apologize for my one eyebrow. This is the new look. We're gonna bring. I it like back. it. I like it. We're gonna bring back the one eyebrow. It's got to come back. It was, it was time. time. It was time. It was way past due. So. This is gonna put a lot of people out of business. This is the new look. This is the new look. Unless you get a bang. I might try it out. The video, beautiful. We'll beautiful. <laughs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? There's a lot of mustaches and eyebrows going on now. This is the yeah. time. It's the season for it. This is the season. Uh, so first yes. of all, how are you and the family doing? How's everybody? Everybody's good. We're going crazy in this house. I know you are. in this house. Yeah. Going easy. Friggin' crazy. We're going crazy here. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Listen, it's worth it in the end because God forbid anything happens, but. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Absolutely. With kids to be locked in a house all day long, a lot of eating, it's... there's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of beating the shit out of each other. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> God bless you. It's yeah. funny because um, my mother, I'm, I'm one of three and we're all boys. So my mother is, obviously, I'm a, we're a little older than your kids, but yeah, it's just everything yeah. you say resonates so well with my family. It's like- It's our life. It's but... our life. It's the honest. I'm saying what people don't want to say. I'm saying what they're thinking. That's what I'm doing. That's it. I'm saying what they're thinking, That's it. but they won't say. I've had it. This put me over. 
I thought I was bad before. This put me over the edge. Over the edge. This is it. Hey. I'm hanging on by thread. Hanging on, but I noticed that your humor has literally brought, I feel like, the world together. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's well, enjoying it. though. <laughs> but if your family's like mine, right? Go ahead. This isn't humor. This is just how the fuck we are. This is just us. It's we're, not being we're all funny. Fucked up. Us. We're all fucked it's up. venting. We're all fucked up. We're all fucked up. We're just venting. We're all just venting. That's what it is. That's what we're doing. We're venting. We're letting it out. We're letting it out. <laughs> so, so let me ask you, Lisa. How did this all yeah. begin? You got to tell me. Long story short, my husband wasn't feeling good. Once he had a stomach ache, ignored it. Had a stomach ache again. I go, go to the doctor. He went mm -hmm. to the doctor. Turns out he had an eight pound tumor, cancer. Went through all that. It was crazy. So my sister made this Instagram page. I didn't have Instagram. And she nice. goes, go ahead, do this. We'll go back and forth. We'll talk all of us and laugh. So we were making stupid videos. We laughed, we laughed, we laughed. He was in chemo. I was sitting in the car. Most of my videos, you see me in the car. Mm -hmm. And my son at the back, he was little. And... We just did it, did it, did it until this day. You just kept going with it. And then all of a sudden, one day, just blew the fuck up, which I didn't expect because right. that wasn't the purpose of it. Yeah. I, I mean, I saw you first on TikTok, believe it or not. And then and I got videos, the TikTok Yeah, app. the, the TikTok, the TikTok went out. App. I got that to spy on my girls to see what the fuck was going on. But then I got into it. Typical and moment. everybody was like, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, all that shit. Yeah, all the, all that I was like, fuck them. I was like, yeah, I was doing the challenges. Who am I? I was challenging people. I was hey, like, oh, yeah. Mm. They were doing all those things, you know, whatever yeah, the hell yeah, they're yeah. doing. I know it. exactly what you're talking about. It's just hard to put into words, whatever the hell it is. But uh, you, you literally turned the situation that was very serious at the time. You turned into a positive. Yeah. I hope you guys are doing much better. You know, my best wishes to you and family. But um, so your humor was kind of used as a way of coping with everything going on, you would say? I did it to distract myself right. from what's real. You know, it gave me a time. I had no serious, I had, it was all serious all day long. So me and my sisters and my cousin would go on and make the stupid videos. We'd laugh, we'd talk. And then it just turned into more people like, oh yeah, let's all talk and laugh. Right. And it just gave me a venting thing. And Good. then it turns into this. Beautiful. Now here I am, I'm with you. Uh, I know, it's such a small world and social media makes it even smaller. It's a blessing, yeah. it's a blessing. It finds everything out on here. You can investigate in a second what's going Literally on. Literally anything. You know, you know, you know best. Where? You know best. So I listen. You have to do nothing. You, you know, know where everybody is. At question. Time. You know, I was going to ask. No, you question. know where you know where everybody is at all times. I know. Like you would date somebody, you'd be like, "Are oh, they there?" You used to date people. You used to be like, oh, "When I met my husband, where is he tonight? I want to bump into him." Now it's like, "Oh, he's at a." Yeah, you could track him. You track him. That's it. Every every this step of the way. No worries. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, nuts. Absolutely nuts. Next question for you. Okay. Go ahead. You're definitely of Italian descent, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, course. Napolitan and Sicilian. Napolitan. I was just going to ask you, where's your family from? Sicilian and Napolitan. 50-50? Split in the middle? Yes. Yep. Do you, do you speak it by any chance? Not men's really. Men's and men's a little bit? Yes, yes, a little bit. Not a lot. All right, so... This question is the, the, to end all debates, all right? Sauce yeah. or gravy? I call it gravy. Oh, my God. It's all I right. call we'll it let, gravy. We'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. It's all right. I call it gravy. What, so what gravy. you call it gravy? Just that's how you were brought up? What? That's just how you were brought up, the gravy? Yeah. No, my mother sometimes would say, I'm putting up a pot of sauce. Me, yeah. I just call it gravy. gravy. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm putting up a pot of gravy. Hey. I don't know why. Hey. I know. Listen, I know. it is what it is. Lose, it is what it is. I still I'm going to lose a lot of followers like that. No, no, not at I'm all. I'm going to lose a lot of followers for the gravy. <laughs> no, nah, don't worry about it. You're hilarious. Keep doing what you're doing. I wanted to ask you a final question before I let you go, unfortunately. Um, who are some comedians that like you look up to or that you looked up to? So just give you that extra motivation and just be who you are. You know, do you look, did you enjoy any other comics at the time or do you still like I it? love Sebastian. I love oh, Sebastian yeah, Mascot. He's hysterical. Uh, Melissa, Mc Melissa from um, Bridesmaids, I find her hysterical. Yep. Ellen, I found her hysterical when she had her own show. I'm much older than you, but she had her own show and Ellen's it was hysterical. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, she had her own show and it was hysterical. Hysterical.
before she did a talk show. She had her own show, sitcom. Yeah, it was yeah. younger than I know. Uh, I know. It was yeah. a while ago. I remember that. Yeah. I, well, I hear I about it. I didn't really watch it, but I know you didn't. You're too young for that. Now I just <laughs> aged myself on your fucking I'll, life. I'll stop it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I want to ask you this, but it like went over my head. I probably okay. I was so curious to see like what your family thinks about this whole situation. Like knowing their mom is literally popping. Like my mom is the my, mom. my husband has never watched one video. <laughs> oh, no one. way. Are you serious? You no know way. <laughs> oh, my man. daughters what my daughters were embarrassed of it. And now they just totally ignore it. They don't even follow me. Oh my god. And, and my son is two and a half, so he's too little. Yeah, he's yes. a little munchkin. Yeah. What am I gonna do? This is it. 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 Listen, this is it. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. You're literally making the world Thank laugh. You. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you and the Thank family. Thank you for having me. Anytime. It's our pleasure. All right. Take Happy care of yourself. Sunday. Yeah, you too. Ciao. And Buona Pasqua. Yes. Happy Easter. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. That's the Corona Lisa, everybody. She is literally one of the funniest people on the internet right now. Absolutely hilarious. And I'm waiting for this next guest to come back on but i hope you guys enjoy that she's so funny i'm glad like throughout this whole mess of a situation we got to find her and literally she makes everybody crack up at any given moment so uh, let me see if this next person's ready <sighs> i'll catch up maybe on the um catch up maybe in the comments in a second i'm just looking for this person Okay. All right. Don't see him here yet. All right, we'll give him a second. Um, thank you for that. No problem, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Look, that's all we really care about. We gotta stay safe during these times. Got a lot of love from Canada today. I like it. I like it. Okay. I expect. I'm just waiting for the next person. Are you Italian? No, I'm not Italian. I just run a page girl growing up Italian, but I have no idea what it's like to be Italian. Yeah, and if, for those who uh, who don't know who she is, obviously I'm Italian. I'm kidding. It's an Italian. But um, one funny mommy, her name is on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, every day she literally posts a video about her life and makes it so funny that everybody could probably relate to, especially your mother. And she just does it in a way that I've never seen done before. And it's absolutely hilarious. So that is that. Um, where's my boy AJ up in this? All right. You know what? Okay. We'll get, we'll skip ahead. We'll go with my buddy, Mark over here. Her name is One What's up? Mark. What's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? What's going on? How's everything, pal? All right. I'm getting ready to eat. Look. What are we putting? Where you, you go? see it? What you got over there? Little peppers and eggs? What is that? Pe potato and eggs. Potato peppers. and eggs. Okay. You got to eat go. good, bro. I know Sabino told you a little later, but I gave it a little bump up. That's all right. What are you going to do? I wasn't ready. I didn't even comb my hair. Yeah. How, how's the family doing? Everybody's good? Everybody's good. Everybody's good. You know, trying not to drive each other crazy. Yeah. Trying to make like a quarantine within a quarantine, you know? Put Absolutely. Some people in the cellar, some people upstairs. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah, that's how it is in my family too. But that's yeah, how we have good. to do it. Yeah, we have to make the sacrifice. The cell is the best part of the house. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, listen, I want to ask you, you know, uh, I've been I've been hawking your profile lately just because Sabino talks about you. And I noticed that you're posting videos with, you know, these big, big name guys. How did that all come about? You know, French Montana, you know, a little how you doing? <laughs> uh, I met them all. My friend Mikey from Howard Beach, he was close with Chinks. Uh, and he introduced me and then I got close with Chinks and you know, and that's how I met French, and he always, you know, we keep the touch here and there. And, uh, you know, I did a skit. I did a skit for him in the studio one night, all of us just chilling. 
That was when French was doing his first album. Yeah. So we had some real good memory, you know, good memories together. And then with Chink Stein, that kind of brings it all together more, you know, because a mutual friend. And that's uh, it, you know. Saying right now we're doing, uh, we just did three new, three more skits. We did. Uh, uh, which one we do? We did Wave Guards with Max Speed. We got Max Speed's gonna be Max on Speed, here. Yeah. Pope Boy, Pope Boy Five, and we did. Uh, we're doing Casino Life. That's the one I'm more than likely definitely on the whole thing. You know, awesome, I man. did a lot of skits for Casino Life. That one's good. I got it on my page. You can see I got some. Yeah, little, yeah. I'll little, direct them uh, to your page so they can check it out themselves too. Yeah, you see that one is good. The intro to the one he's playing on the keyboard. I want. Yeah, nice. yeah. Man, you're killing it, dude. Keep up yeah, the good work. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep I, it going. You know, right now, I love you know, it. with everybody locked in the house, I got people asking me to post videos. They want right. to live, you know? Yeah, no, you're doing it, though. Especially when I oh, see you dancing over there. I mean, you seen, yeah, yeah. There yeah, you yeah. go. There you go. You see the freaking head Where's the, the chain? Head? Where's the chain, man? Oh, my chain. I hung up the chain for now. It's, it's hanging you up. Know, I don't want nobody to know what I got. <laughs> Light flex. <laughs> Yeah, I can't flex. Right now, you don't want to flex. You know no what I mean? Flex. People are broken or anything. No flex, no flex. Eyeballs out of your head. <laughs> All right, no problem, man. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I like that you to keep in touch with Italy. That's nice. I talk Yeah, to we're, trying to, we're trying to push it as positive as possible, man. It's hard. There's a lot of stuff going on. The numbers are only going up, but, you know, we got to shed yeah. light on what's what's positive right now. Trying. Yeah, yeah, of course. You got to live a little bit. You know, listen, at the end of the day, people are locked in their house. You know, it's not, they're not in jail. You know, right, people right. Understand. you're not in jail. You're with your family. You're making sure your family's right. So you're protecting your family. The hard thing is what's going on with the workers that don't know, like, you know, they don't know what's right. If they should be going to work or should not be going to work. They don't know if they, you know what I'm trying to say? I guess it's a tough spot. It's definitely a tough spot to be in. You got to do what's right for your, you know, what makes you feel right is what it is at the end of the day. Well, you know what's right and wrong. You know what I'm saying? At least this is going to flush all the garbage out. Yeah. We'll That's see the way I see it. it. I hope sooner than later, but we got to hang tough. Keep a smile on our face. Life must yeah. go on. And, you know, yeah. what else can we do, really? Yeah, that's it. Who was the girl you just had on? She's really funny. Uh, yeah, that's one. That's uh, her name is uh, one funny mo uh, one funny mommy on Instagram. She's hilarious. She's, yo, she's a pisser. Man. She's this. a pisser. Yeah, yeah. Give her a follow. She's, yeah, she's saying the truth that the kids are driving everybody nuts. I'm right? sure you can relate, huh? Oh yeah, she's funny. She's good. She got it. She's yeah, a legend. She got it. She got it. She got it. You could tell. Yeah. But oh, take care of yourself. Thank you for coming. All right, home. brother. Stay Take safe, all right? Down. You and the family. I'll keep, I'll keep watching, too. All right, guys. All keep right. Time, man. Take care. All right. That was Mark. All right. Let's see. There he is. All right. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. For those asking where am I from. Family comes from Salerno, Italy. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the account. Really, that's what we do for you guys. We get all these messages every day. It makes our day. Saludando saluti da Italia. Ciao a tutti, è stato accorto. Okay. All right. Let's see a little. Give AJ a sec to join. Yeah, guys, go check out Little Mo Mozzarella. He was just on with me. Great guy, very humble man, and he's he's also just as funny. So definitely check him out. Thank you, guys. There's a lot of people showing love. Thank you. All right. Let's try that. There we go. What's going on? Hey, what's up, AJ? How you doing? How you doing, man? Same as everybody else, man. Same just as everybody else, right? Hanging, not doing nothing, just waiting. Waiting to start working again. I know, man. Speaking of working, what, what, what you working, man? So you got to let these people know. You got to put well, you on the grid. Yeah, I play uh, professional baseball with the Atlanta Braves. I'm in the minor leagues with them. I got drafted 2018. Working my way up to the big leagues, so hopefully... I mean, if we can start playing, hopefully soon. I know, right? man. I want to see you on the field, dude. I want yeah. to see you. I want to see you balling. 
man. We need we need an Italian stud like you to get on there, man. <laughs> I know. I know. But yo, yo, we're literally backing you up 110. percent Literally, I love seeing you play. Want to see you play, and yeah. I just want to ask you, like, what's it been like for you as a professional athlete during this time? Like, how the hell are you keeping up with everything? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, we were in middle of spring training, getting ready for the season, and uh, we played a game at uh, versus the Tigers. And they were like, no autographs. They met with us before the game. Like, no autographs, no nothing. Yeah, this was when it was like sprinkling in, right? Yeah, no. We had like whispers of it. So uh, then after the game, they're like, uh, "You guys are going home tomorrow. So we're That's gonna crazy. play. We're making you go home. Uh, hopefully two weeks. And then it's been two weeks. We just got a call today. They told us we're like, they're like, we got no idea what's going right. on. We got no idea. We don't know when y'all are coming back. So just try to stay in shape. So. Throwing in the street, I mean, hitting in my high school, I mean, just trying to stay safe, you know. Yeah, where well, you have, like, home workouts that you've been trying to keep up with or I mean, around the neighborhood? Yeah, just, I mean, I've been able to lift at my dad's buddy's house. And, uh, I mean, just trying, everybody's in the same boat. All my teammates. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I could imagine because you know what it's like in the clubhouse. So I could imagine what the hell you guys are going through. Like, I, a lot of us are seeing it from, like, a – like a day-to-day -day human basis, right? We're regular people. You guys as athletes, like, how do you keep up? You know what I mean? Like, once – we never know when this is going to end, so we got to be ready at any moment, especially you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're hearing we might play through November. We, we're just here. Yeah, this. yeah. I heard all of that, man. I know is nobody knows nothing. Nobody has a clue right now. Nobody knows nothing. Yeah, we got we to gotta hang tight. We got to see what happens. But, yo, like I said, man, first and foremost, thank you for coming on. You, uh, John, didn't even speak with you. Secondly, I hope the Italian community knows who you are now. That show show love to you. Yeah. Uh, secondly, no, secondly, I said that already. Thirdly, <laughs> uh, just want to wish you the best of luck with everything. Stay safe during this time, you and the family. And, uh, you know, like I said again, thank you for coming on, dude. Heck yeah, we'll be in touch, my man. We'll be in touch, all right? Yeah, stay safe. Best of luck with everything, pal. Take care. All right, that's AJ Grafanino. He plays on the – he's in the – Atlanta Braves uh, minor league system. So hopefully he gets a call up within the coming years and we see him play some major league ball. But he was literally getting ready for spring training, literally getting ready to go, uh, playing the games, practicing, all that stuff. All these professional athletes have that little preseason before the actual season. And then, like he said, literally at the end of that day, they literally told him to pack the bags and go home. It's, it's a serious issue. So I just want to see what he was up to and I wanted you guys to know who he was because he really is a talent and a force to be reckoned with so hopefully we see him in the near future and we'll definitely keep in touch with him okay uh, I'm gonna, gonna see where okay I have two more that are supposed to come on so we're gonna wait for two more in the meantime I will answer some of your chats and so these people come in uh gnocchi or lasagna honestly you want me to be honest here i feel like i can't have lasagna more than once a year i feel like it's just i gotta be in the mood for it if that makes sense lasagna is just you gotta just be in the mood for it. gnocchi i feel like i could have every other week if i wanted to you know it's just it's so good What up, Cliff? Make make homemade super sad. Figilo ma che state dicendo? Yeah, everybody agrees with me. Let's go. Lasagna once a year, I told you. Tutto bene, tutto bene. Okay, here we go. Hold up. I'll keep answering people. <clears throat> Cannoli before and after the main meal? Before and after? I don't know about before. It's hard to have dessert before the actual meal. But definitely after. Cannolis, as many as you want. It could house them. Honestly, I don't think I would ever order lasagna outside of my own home. I don't think I've ever had lasagna outside of my own home. 
what country are you in? We are from the uh, United States. We're in New York. All right, in the meantime, I know we try and post these every day. I'm going to show you guys something. But here's what's going on lately, not to get on this topic again, but uh, the website is worldometers.info. And what, what you see here is just the cases and all, new cases, that means in the past 24 hours, um, and the deaths and how many people have died. And it's really scary number, but the good news is, the good news is people are... In, in Italy, at least, people are dying at a slow, they're dying at a slower rate. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. There's not many people dying every day. So the number of people dying is going down. It's still a lot scary, 766, but the number of people is going down. So let's just keep faith, you know, stay strong. Everybody out here in USA, we really have to just be mindful of everybody around us, make sure we're being safe and all that stuff. We want to be careful during these times. Um, trying to stay home ourselves literally i was supposed to record this with my cousins but we all stayed on our own and only one person can be on a live at a time so i've been holding it down for now but <sighs> let me see where mr matt is if not okay hey you know it's a scary situation but we definitely want to be wary of those around us and how to take proper precautions. I mean, Mikey Zaps, we get it, bro. We get it. Don't worry. We know you want Sabino. So it's my baby down there. Yep, yep, yep. You cannot call yourself a town if you call sauce gravy. I'm sorry. Honestly, it depends how people are raised, honestly. Like, you can't fault somebody for if that's all they know. If all you know your whole life is growing up is something being called gravy, you're going to call it gravy. I obviously call it sauce, but you know, that's just my two cents. I don't want it to be a whole sauce gravy debate. So. All right. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Yeah, I'm over here. Everything's all right over here. Uh, I literally haven't left my house in like two weeks. So um, I'm just trying to provide some good content for you guys, make you guys laugh, make you guys have faith, be positive as much as possible. I want you guys to come to this page and really enjoy it. Look at every post and say, wow, I can relate to it. Or wow, you know, I'm proud to be Italian or Italian American or Italian Canadian, Italian Australian, whatever you are. So I just love when the community comes together and we all, uh, you know, positive constantly that's really what matters to me that i really just want to look for that in the the messages the dms the comments and you guys have been doing so and i'm glad we're sticking together during these times and that's really all we try to do you know we have to stick together now we have to each do our part um <clears throat> There's people all over that, you know, have been sending us messages every day. And I can't, I can't, like the amount of people that are messaging us, just thanking us for posting what we post every day. It's literally heartwarming, honestly. And, you know, very blessed to have such a, a an awesome, uh, an awesome audience that surrounds us. And, you know, it's a lot of care that's going on. Um, I wish I had jokes for you guys just because I want to lighten up everybody's mood, but look at the Tony over here. I mean, Tony's like my, uh, my number one fan, huh? There you go. Clap it up. Clap it up, everybody. <laughs> applauso, applauso. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You know what? I'm going to have, I'm going to have one random come in since the other two were supposed to come in. But we'll leave it at that. I will yeah, send me a request. We'll have you in here. Yeah, I saw the Rocky skit with Eddie Murphy. It's a little borderline uh, today. I don't think people will enjoy that much today. But it's, it's comical. All right. Let's have, let's have one more person in here. I'll pick somebody random. If you want to be on a just request. 
Um, let's see where it goes. Wow, all the way from Peru. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are okay over there. There we go. Maybe back then. Yeah. At the time, so that's that's what's tough about comedy. I remember Kevin Hart got got in a little trouble because of, of a joke from like ten years ago. But Who we got over here. Who we got? All right. Last one for the day. Thank you guys for tuning in, though. It's appreciated, especially. Ciao a tutti. Minga, che bella mustache got here. Come sta? How are you? Listen, so it's a big issue right now. It's a big problem. If I if I shave my beard and I shave my mustache, I end up looking like a ten year old. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. So I end. There we go. Ended up leaving a mustache. So right now I'm looking like. I look like Luigi. I look like. Uh, no, you look like. I was gonna say you look like Super Mario. I know. I look like Super Geep right now. That's what, <laughs> I like. That's what I look like. But it is what it is. But uh, round of applause, to everyone. I gotta say, you know, I really want that round of applause in the comment section for growing up Italian and Rocco. I mean, every day these guys they're putting up content that is pushing everyone forward. Me personally, like I'll, I'll say to everyone, I'm person who can't stay in the house. I can't. I hate staying home right now. But the content every day that they're putting on, the podcast that they have online up, I got to say, round of applause to these guys. Best page on Instagram, without a doubt. All right, all right buddy. Well, you, you take care of yourself. Thanks for coming on. And uh, we'll talk soon, all right? Stay safe, okay. you and the family. Of course. You too. Ciao. All right. Ciao, ciao. All right. That was Tony Gwerch. Um Listen, thank you guys for coming on. I uh, hope you all staying safe. Hope you guys are all staying careful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a last minute sprinkle. Okay. All right. Now, now, now. Now. Okay. I was waiting for this person a couple minutes ago. There yeah, you go. Cool. What happened? Dude, I almost killed my daughter and my wife. Two birds with one stone. My God, man. I was, Bad. All right. I was trying to like stall a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. That's all right. Yo. How's everything? Uh, listen, I, I mean, I'm I'm on house arrest with my three month old, my four year old, and my wife. Can you see good, my at face? Least? Huh? The family's doing well, at least. Yeah, the family's doing great. I'm on you? the verge of losing my mind. <laughs> you look a little shunga, but shunga, dude, I'm gonna look like my high school senior yearbook picture. Eyebrows grown in, haircut. Haven't got one in three weeks. It's time to bring it back, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. We'll call it the senior year. Man, there we go. How are you guys holding up? No, we're good here, man. I haven't, I literally haven't left the house in two weeks. So it's been Same tough here. staying in. But you got to do what you got to do, you know? I told my wife I was going to go golfing tomorrow morning and she almost stabbed me. What, were you serious? The golf courses are open. Yeah, people are just, You walk and, I mean, you're out in the open. I mean, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't worth getting stabbed in your sleep. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe... Uh, by the time you come back, you'll have one less eyeball and... No, the doors, the <laughs> locks on the doors will be changed. <laughs> You're sleeping question. with the dog. You're sleeping with the dog tonight. <sighs> you ain't kidding me. It's crazy, though. Listen, I mean, I I'm thinking that maybe we should start telling people to go out and then maybe they'll stay in. A little reverse psychology. I know. Isn't that crazy? Literally before this whole pandemic when people were, you know, when we had the free reign to go out, yeah, would stay in. And now that there's that restriction... You have people. You have people that aren't staying in that always stayed in. I know people that are like right. crabs. All of a sudden, they're like, "Oh, I can't stay in a house." I'm like, "I've been calling you for the last six years, and you never want to leave your house." And all of a sudden, yeah. you can't stay in. It's crazy. Listen, my father used to. Our, our parents used to do it to us. My father always gave me reverse psychology. You remember when you were yeah, younger? Of course. You know when you were in trouble and you wanted to go out, he goes, "Go out, go." <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, when you come home, you see what happened. Go ahead. Go. Absolutely, absolutely. He well, blows my mind. In is uh, the other day, we had that, uh, that like, care package from the USMC. They came to New York and, and dropped off. You see off. all the people outside? That's exactly what I was going to say. Mean. Yeah. The, how many people are... What are you for? 
What are you watching a boat? Completely against the, the purpose. It doesn't make sense. I'll tell you right now, I gotta give I hate to bring the race card in, but I have to give credit where credit's due. You didn't see any black people in that crash. <laughs> Fuck Just that. like a horror movie, black people don't go to danger. <laughs> I'm, I guarantee there was not many Italians there. All white people. All very curious. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm too curious. That's what it is. It's not. Yeah, well, curiosity oh, wow. kills the cat and kills you also. Yeah, that's absolutely. Listen, I, I'll be the first to admit it. A couple of weeks ago, I said that, you know, this is just a, a really bad flu. But even if it is, I, people are saying, oh, it's a bad flu. Okay, if it is, if the news came out and said this is a very bad flu, what's the difference? I know. What's there? I got I got people that I know. They're losing their parents. I mean, this is crazy. I know. So it's even even if it's scary. a bad flu, stay home. I don't understand. It, it, it gets scary by the day because more and more you you find out the people you know are starting to get affected. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's just we got to be careful, man. My, you know, my mother's got you know. Dang, hopefully she she took the test yesterday. Hopefully she doesn't have it, but she's getting. Well, I I get like shortness of breath and I'm bugging out, and I yeah, haven't left my house. My paranoia is through the roof right now. I'll tell you right now. I told my wife. I said if I get it, and I know we haven't left our house in three weeks. That means you've been sneaking out in the middle of the night. I'm throwing you out. <laughs> we, we haven't left our house. Yeah, you're right. Dude, it's, it's crazy. Listen, I don't even know when this is going to end. But, you, you know, the sooner people wake up, the sooner it'll be over. Yeah, and thank you God know? we got Tia Lucia and Uncle Vinny to hold us down over here. I'm turning into a schizophrenic. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Listen, I'm, everybody out there, like I have a neighbor that lives across the street. I'm telling you right now. If, you, if you're two weeks, three weeks in, and you have kids, and you're enjoying this quarantine, you need to see a psychiatrist as soon as this is over. <laughs> I feel like all parents are feeling this way right now. No, I'm, I, I'm getting thoughts that I've never got before. I'm like, I wonder if, you know, a whole roll of duct tape will work if I put my daughter right on the wall. If that'll hold her up for 12 hours. It's bad. The homeschooling. I know. I know firsthand, so. I, I don't hang know. In, hang in there. It's tough, but something we got to get used to for now, especially you with your daughter. So it's it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, how's Sabina doing? You guys all staying in? Yeah, literally, we're supposed to get together, but we said let's just play it safe. We're that all staying work. in. Sabina's with the family. Miguel's with the family. Everybody's isolated, so we got to just keep it that way. And then that I'll tell you right now. I have after this is all done, I'm gonna go and give trophies to every teacher. That like the teacher that puts up with my daughter, oh my god, <laughs> I, yeah, I almost killed my daughter over the letter N. Yeah, I saw so that video. Just write a letter N. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not no no. That was all serious. I did it to her today. I said, if you oh okay write, okay. If you don't write the number ten, I said I'm gonna pop all the heads off every single one of your dolls. I'm gonna decapitate your whole line of Barbies if you don't do the number ten. I did the whole threatening trick. No, you got no. it. That's how we listen. That's how we are raised. Oh my god, listen. I mean. Times have changed, but people stay the same. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the this. truth. That's the truth, man. All right, before you get off here, what's some serious advice you have for people? Um, don't be naive, man. Like I said, even if this is a, just a serious case of the flu, it's it's killing people. You know, people that are older, people that have. It's not even. I know. I know. I know. Uh, my my friend of mine, his cousin, forty two years old, he died. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't a super healthy guy, but he was. He also didn't have, you know, heart issues or respiratory issues. Right. So just wake up, man, because what happens is you have these people that go out, they're being very naive, they act like they don't care, and when it hits the fan and it's one of their loved ones or a family member, God forbid, that all of a sudden they want to get serious and they want to turn into an advocate. Just stay home. I, I don't – the sooner they stay home – like, I'm looking at the trains. The trains are packed in the city. That, that's another thing I don't understand. You, know, you cut down the line of trains that are in service. What do you think is going to happen? That's going to crowd it, crowd out the trains. So I think, we, number one, we got to stop making this a political issue. If I go on Facebook one more time and I see something about Democrats and Republicans, like, yo, we're Americans right now. We're not, it's, it has nothing yeah, to do with political. Stop. That's really got to stop. You know, life's got to get back to being lived the right way. We have to get back to living life and just smart up. Stay in your house. Go out or, or order in, order food from the grocery store, they're all delivering. Bulk up, and listen, everyone's like, oh, I can't get as much food as I want. All right, so slim down a little bit. Cut your meals down to two meals a day. I'm sure most of us, 90% of us, were eating way too much anyway. So take this as a time to cut down your meals, leave quarantine a little lighter than you came into quarantine, and just <laughs> stay your ass home. I'm telling you right now, 
You, you're gonna lose a, you're gonna lose me i'm not another three weeks i'm not making it, i'll tell you right now <laughs> I'll, I'll shoot my video live right from my basement my funeral <laughs> not making it. listen thank you for the comic relief all the time uh you got it bro check him out rodia comedy uh thanks for coming on as always and yeah listen what you know. guys are doing all is awesome man you guys are keeping everybody up to date and what i like about you guys you guys aren't just putting negative news out there to gain traction to your page you're also putting positive out there you know, you're not, you guys aren't just filling your page with controversy just right. to, you know, up your engagement. You guys are putting positive stuff out there. We need more of that. So thank Appreciate you. That, man. Thank you. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, you got care. it. You and the family stay safe, all right? Stop the bullshit. Now I'm staying in the basement. I don't know about you. Stay in the basement, I'm right? quarantining myself from my family. <laughs> all right, man, stay safe, brother. Ciao. All right, Rock. All right, that's Rodia Comedy. He is uh, a comedian here in New York. Guys, thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to end this live. Hope you all have a safe uh, weekend. Stay home. Stay safe. Be smart. And we look forward to doing this again. Thank you all for tuning in. Take care of yourselves and have a great evening. Ciao.